Hi, my name is Florian Heller from Hasselt University in Belgium. Today, I'd like to present you the Muffidgets, detecting and identifying edible pastry tangibles on capacitive touchscreens. So while it's sad that this is a virtual conference, which means that you don't get to eat what I'm about to present, the good news is that you can easily bake the Muffidgets for yourself right after this talk. So let me start with a brief intro on how to relocate capacitive touch. So capacitive touch screens send a change in capacitance between their wires in their sensing grid. So when placing a finger on screen, your body capacitance causes this change, which is then trend, uh, turned into a touch signal by the touch screen. This connection between the screen surface and the body can be extended with electrically conductive materials, such as um, a copper wire or other materials. So instead of directly touching the screen, you can interact with a tangible that redirects your body capacitance and creates fake touch events on the surface of the screen. However, it's also possible to create these fake touches without a connection to the human body. The scan line moving across the touch screen is a grounded wire, while all others are sensing the respective capacitance to that wire. If we use an electrically conductive bridge, the grounded wire on the one end of the bridge will cause the touch screen to detect a touch at the other end. And the material for the bridge just needs to be electrically conductive. To create tangibles working with this principle, we mostly use copper or aluminum tape, conductive foams or electrically conductive polymers. If we place the conductive pads in unique geometric relations, we can use the three touches, as in this example, to detect and identify different tangibles on screen. However, we can also use different materials to create the footprint of the tangible. In this case, we used muffin dough. So, how do you create a muffin jet? First, we cut the footprint from baking wafers and place these in the muffin cups. This ensures the dough only reaches the bottom at the dedicated position. We stack three layers of identical wafers per muffin cup to create enough clearance from the touchscreen. Otherwise, the screen would detect the entire muffin base as a large blob and discard it as not being a finger size. After baking the muffin, we can remove the baking wafers. This results in a completely edible, tangible interface for capacitive touchscreens. Here we can see the muffidgets in use. In the People in My Life app, first, a name and a color has to be assigned to every individual muffidget ID. After this registration process, we can use the tangibles on screen. The use cases for this technology can be communication, for example, personalized messages at the birthday party, or naming whose muffin is just on screen. But it can also be of more serious nature. For example, it can reveal nutritional information like allergens contained in this, in this specific muffin or its calories. It can also communicate tangible state. For example, the moisture level in the dough has an indicator of the age of the muffin. Thank you very much for your attention. And now, happy baking!